What's up guys? We're up here in Messina, New York. We just got loaded up with some sows. I like to call them T-bars. You call them whatever you want. I've picked up more loads of these than I know what I could do with them. Uh, there's actually a picture at the top of my page here on YouTube uh, right in this area um, when I had the step deck. Which uh, was a few years ago. So well, it looks like we got a little more on the heavier side. We usually have three in the front, three in the back. So oh, and there's 12, 16, 20, 24, 27 all together. Taking this down to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And uh, no tarp. I usually got to tarp this stuff. So I'm going to throw the straps, get them in position. I'm going to go up here through the tarping station, just throw my corners on real quick. And I'll give you guys a quick shot of what it looks like when it's all done. Um, big thing to remember is we have to have two in the front stack we got to have two on this uh, one we have to have two in the second stack because it's higher uh, the rest of the stacks um, in the middle we only need one strap and then that last stack we need two straps uh, there's nothing stopping it from going back there's nothing stopping it from going forward so we are required to have two straps uh, that's why we need two straps on this top second layer because there's nothing to stop that top one from coming forward. So, kind of get screwed with multiple different layers when it comes to that. So if the layer's higher than your other layers, you have to double up as if it was the first stack. Hope I explained that correctly. Anyway, let me get this done. It looks like we got a few... Uh, stragglers. I got a few stragglers like this. Actually, this one's not too bad, so I usually just fold this over. Um, but if there's any like really big ones that are going to easily come off, you can see many drivers do it. Uh, we take them off so that they can't come flying off going down the road, which I'll do most of that when I get into the tarping station. Um, which is the big reason. All right, all done. Uh, the one thing that I try to make sure when I'm twisting my straps is that they're all uniform, and I like them bent this way so that the air flows over the over top of the strap or around the strap. I guess I don't want it if it's facing like this, then the air is getting caught in the chamber here. Uh, which doesn't make a huge difference. I just, it's uh, just one of my pet peeves. So usually when I tighten up the strap on the one side, it usually twists uh, the way that I don't want it to go. So I will just wrap my hands around the strap and kind of manipulate it. So that it goes the way I want it to go. Um, it's like uh, it's like all four of them. All four of them got twisted. Oh, no, right. I, I tightened up six on the other side. Uh, it looks like only four, four out of the six got went the wrong, the opposite way. That's it. I'll step back and take a quick photo. And that's the load. I have to look back. I think. Uh, I think I've hauled more than this on a normal basis. I want to say we've done we've done a lot more, maybe one or two more stacks than this. But I take what they give me. Just like the last load, then three pallets. 
So, all right, we'll see you guys when we get down to PA tomorrow morning. All right, we're actually on to the next delivery, so we'll just put this all into one video. Um, I delivered yesterday uh, down there in Lancaster, PA. Then I went right up the road and I picked up this load. Just a bunch of bags of concrete. We actually went, I think it was like 80 miles yesterday to pick this load up. Um, Easton, PA. And now we're up here in Batavia, New York, delivering the load. And now I'm on to the next one, which is, uh, before I continue on to the next one, uh, the one that I'm doing right now was just a short one. It was four, four hours, about 200 and, I think 296 miles. Um, it's not with the dispatch. The dispatch was, uh, pretty sure it says it here. The dispatch was 293 miles, so it probably came in close. 28, 228, 278, 280, 284 miles, so it was actually under. not right. I'm doing my math wrong. Um, 385, 284. Uh, I got 278. Uh, that was 284. Paid me 700 bucks. $703. Uh, this next one is a short one too. Even shorter than that. It goes 49 miles but it pays me $550. Unfortunately, I have to tarp, but I'm gonna keep that included in this video. We're just gonna do all three loads in one video, so. We'll head over there. I'll probably show you guys what we got before I tarp it. Um, and there's actually two of them, so if the other one's still available after I get loaded, and it's not that huge of a pain in the butt. I guess it's supposed to be four, six, I think it said something about six crates. So as long as it's a pretty easy run and he still has that other one, I'll probably go ahead and grab that, whether it's for today or tomorrow. So we'll see you there in a second. All right, we're here. And this is what I'm getting. Except for we got four more going on. Three in the front, three in the back. <laughs> There's one more sitting on the board and I was thinking about doing them both, but uh, not the way these guys are, are doing this. This is, so they're bringing it out with a forklift holding up the back of the pallet here. And then they have a hand truck in the front to steer it, and they're pushing it out the door. One side is being lift, lifted by the gantry, and then the other side is being lifted by the forklift. And then I got a back under for every crate. And, uh, yeah. It is what it is. I don't... I commit, I commit. I don't, I don't back out. I... I'm getting screwed over a little bit on this one, but I um, I accept that. But I didn't know what I was getting into. That's why I didn't book both of them. So I won't be, uh, I definitely won't be doing the other one. Not unless they're going to um, order up a forklift to, to, uh, to put them on the truck so that I can pull up, they can put them on, and I can go. Uh, on top of that, I have to tarp this. So as soon as we get them done, I still got to throw the two tarps on. I might even have to, because this is right at 48 feet. Uh, so I might even have to grab one of the smaller tarps, but. I'll give you guys an update here in a second uh, on what we end up having to do. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not in 
All right, here we go. Had to use uh, three steel tarps, basically just to cover up that last end there. Uh, my two tarps would have been fine, but I would have had to have something to put on the ends, and I didn't want to pull out both smoke tarps and deal with that, so I just pulled out of my other tarp and went with the three. But it's already 3.30, so and these guys stopped receiving at three o'clock so I'm gonna have to be over there first thing tomorrow morning to get unloaded and uh, hopefully they got a forklift to unload this because that was that was bull crap I mean I've been here for five hours now and hour and a half ago I started tarping I've been going really slow because I got really bad. I think it's just a gas pain in my side below my ribs. But um, yeah, I was thinking about possibly doing this load again tomorrow, but it's, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. If they had a bigger forklift and they could throw them all on within a half an hour, hour, I would be fine with it. But it's just not worth it. So. I'm gonna go with a different game plan tomorrow and see if uh, see how that works out. I'm just kind of trying to keep it short this week and and still be able to make my truck my, my truck payment and and get home um, with some money in my pocket. So until tomorrow. All right, I'm at the delivery. Of course, we couldn't get a hold of them last night, so we couldn't set up appointments. So now it's just wait until we're ready for you. They answered their darn phone last night. I wouldn't be sitting here waiting, but that's all right. We're just about done. I just finished rolling up the tarps, and uh, I'm doing the straps now. So then it's just a matter of waiting for them. Um, but here's what the, the whole looks, load looks like without the tarp on there. So we only got, it's only six crates, but they're 24 feet long each. So there's the, that's the middle right there. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, I only threw four straps on each one. They're 5,000 pounds a piece. Um, I don't think I'm quite within the five feet here, but it's close enough. Uh, and then these are within eight feet apart. So the rule is uh, 10 feet apart or less. So uh, I would say one strap more than I actually needed on the whole load, but I felt more comfortable with this. So it's just a matter of waiting until uh, they're ready to unload me. Um, and then once that takes place, we will be out of here. We have another load that's picking up uh, today. Um, it can pick up as late as tomorrow, but if it picks up tomorrow, I won't be able to deliver till Monday. So that's uh, something I really don't want to do, but we'll see what happens here. He pointed to these doors over here, but that looks like a, a mechanical shop, service shop. So I don't, I don't know, I guess we'll find out, but uh, I'm going to end the video here. You got three loads in one video just because they were short loads and didn't really have much to say about them. Um, I am in Buffalo right now. The next load picks up in Hornell. I've done this load a few times before in the past and uh, so that's it. Hopefully we'll get done and get out of here soon and uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can make it down to the next load and not have any issues. So thanks for watching guys. Stay safe.